What's up guys, Skidder Rampage here. So today Funko just announced digital Funko Pops. They actually sound kind of cool. So let's explain what they are. All right guys, so today we're bringing you some Funko news, but a little bit different. We are announcing Funko's new digital Funko Pops, which is actually pretty exciting. So. Essentially, in this video, I'm going to be explaining what a digital pop is via their blog. Um, a lot of people are still kind of confused, and hopefully, guys, I can break it down to the best of my ability so it's hopefully a little easier to understand because it is a little bit confusing, but trust me, this is actually pretty fun. A little confusing, but fun. So let's go over it. All right, guys, so what they did announce for the first wave is going to be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for Series 1, and it is coming August 3rd, 2021. So in this little glam, we do have Donatello, Raphael, Michelangelo, Shredder, and then we do have a few of the other characters in the actual TMNT franchise. Also, guys, something I wanted to point out right off the bat that is going to be on the actual pop is it says Pop Digital in the corner there, and I think that's cool. I think that already adds so much detail to the potential boxes, and this is going to be a lot of fun. So now, guys, we're heading over to their actual blog and we're going to be reading off everything that has to do with these NFTs and these actual Funko Pop digital items and what essentially they are, how you can get them, where you can get them, and when you can get them. And then closer to the end, we're going to be going over the ratios, which ones you can get, and just some really cool stuff. So make sure to stay tuned, pay attention guys, and listen as I'm reading. Um, so hopefully you don't miss anything because I probably will answer your question as I'm going along. And um, if you do have any other questions, just drop them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. But anyway, Anyways guys, Funko Pop Digital, everything you need to know, literally created today. Today we are excited to announce our first series of Funko Pop or Funko Digital Pop available August 3rd, 2021, and that is coming up fairly soon next week. Digital Pop are the newest way to collect Funko Pop. And to help make this process easier on you, our fans, we're breaking down what Funko Digital Pop are, and better yet, how to collect them. What is a Funko Digital Pop? Funko Digital Pop are non-fungible tokens or NFTs in the form of digital collectibles featuring Funko's unique stylized figures. So essentially guys, they are digital pops that you can collect just online, virtually, essentially. Um, that's the best way I can put it, and that's what it's, uh, NFT is, it's a digital collectible. Um, it does say, Funko Digital Pop will be offered in packs starting at $9.99. Each pack of Digital Pop gives you a chance to reveal one of the rare Funko Digital Pop. Uh, it's so confusing to say Funko Digital Pop instead of Funko Pop Digital. Uh, when opened, which can be redeemed for a free limited edition physical pop. So guys, these packs do start at $9.99 and you do open them and try to get that rare card to exchange for a physical pop. It says Funko Digital Pop will be available to purchase through the Wax platform using your Wax account and a credit card. So make sure to head over to Wax's website and that's where you can make an account and sign up and be able to purchase these actual items. What is Wax? Wax Worldwide Asset Exchange is a leading decentralized video game and entertainment network. The Wax blockchain is a safe and convenient way to buy, sell, and trade virtual items. Wax NFTs can be purchased in the initial drop using a credit card. Purchases must be made using a Wax wallet, which is an account created on the Wax blockchain that will hold your digital pop after a successful purchase occurs. The Wax wallet allows you to see your NFT inventory and interact in the Wax marketplace to buy, sell, or trade NFTs. So... This is kind of like to explain it to you as a Funko Pop collector. If you're not familiar with Wax, as this is kind of like all stocks and cryptocurrency and things like that. Anyways, to explain it to you kind of uh, the best way I can, think of Pop Price Guide, okay? Think of how they have all the listings, okay? And it says Wax is marketplace to buy, sell, or trade NFTs. You have the list of how much these pops are worth on Pop Price Guide, okay? And then you can also buy stuff on Pop Price Guide through their little hobby DB or whatever you want to refer to it as. Um, and essentially it's going to be the same way. It's going to be like Facebook marketplace with all the pops available for buy, sell and, um, trade. And that's how this is going to work. It's just another platform that you buy, sell and trade think of eBay, Amazon, just another, uh, platform. That's the best way I can explain it to you. Just think of pop price guide in that regard or eBay. Now guys, this part's very important. How do I purchase a Funko Digital Pop? Funko Digital Pop can be purchased by opening a Wax account here, wallet.wax.io. I think I already made a Wax account a while back when these were originally announced, and I did talk about these in a Funko News briefly, but I completely forgot about it. But I do believe I made an original account because I was heavily interested in these because I was pretty big into cryptocurrencies a few months ago. I've slowed down a little bit, but 
um, on that at least. Anyways, I've been busy with other stuff, but nonetheless, guys, I did make an account, so make sure to make your account if you are interested in this. And it says, uh, visit the Wax tutorial for a step-by-step -step walkthrough of setup. So it'll um, there's an actual link on the blog to help you set up your account if you are still confused. Each Funko Digital Pop release will have a drop website to purchase and open packs, www.funko.digital.com. So that's where you can actually purchase and open the packs. So it's actually digitally, you, you buy them digitally, you don't buy these physically, which I actually think that's kind of cool. But it's kind of like in an in-store release how you have scalpers lining up to buy out the whole stock, kind of like the whole Pokemon card situation and sports cards and um, every other card, I guess. Anyways, guys, my point is this is going to be heavily botted just to be able to buy these items. It's going to be botted. The sites are going to crash because, I mean, one, we see how these virtual cons go in, in general and releases and how your typical Funko Shop release goes. So... I don't feel like this is going to be really any different with bots eating up all the stock and everything like that. Um, so this is going to be interesting how they kind of maneuver through that because this is something big and exciting and it can really make a fan disappointed if they're not able to at least get one because they're all by being bought up almost immediately. And then it does say guys, all Funko Digital Pop can be purchased with a credit card on the drop website and can be managed within your Wax account. So I'm assuming your purchases and trades and everything like that will be managed on the actual Wax account. And then three says, download the Token Head app. So you need three things already. Right now, you should be writing all this down mostly. Uh, so Wax, go create a Wax account. And then also go to Funko.Digital.com if it's even available yet, if you want to check that out. As well, guys, as you download the Token Head app on iOS app store or Google Play to view your digital pop collection. So the Token Head app is where you're going to be able to view your digital collection, aka the Funk. It's it's like another Funko app. You will view all you view all these pops on there, their values and everything like that. The Token Head app is where you're going to be able to do that as well for these digital items. Moving on, guys, it says, please note, and this is kind of a disclaimer. Each purchase transaction will be capped at three hundred dollars USD. You can make multiple purchases. Uh, purchase. <clears throat> you can make multiple purchase transactions during the drop, but a single transaction cannot exceed three hundred dollars. And they are starting at nine ninety nine um, for a pack of five cards. And I think there is another pack that we will get to into uh, shortly in some of these other screenshots. How will Funko Digital Pop be released? Funko Digital Pop will be released in a unique collection or series. So Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, as I said, that's what they're starting with for series one. Each series will be a one-time drop and will offer a limited number of packs of Digital Pop. Oh, so they are limiting them. I'm actually surprised at that. Okay, so they're limiting them. Nice to know. That's actually pretty fun. Um, the quantity for each series is set and will no uh, will not be re-released, I'm assuming is what they meant. So essentially, guys, it's, it's a one-time drop and these will not be re-released. That means they're automatically vaulted after they sell out. And I think that's fun. I think that's great. That adds so much to it. And I think I briefly talked about this in a video of um, how they would handle this and not re-releasing items. That's fun. I like that idea because that means that they will actually hold value. And I'm a value collector and I'm speaking to value collectors right now. This is how they will hold their value because they're not going to be re-released. They're going to be a one-time thing and then they move on to the next series. And I think that's amazing and I think that's awesome of Funko to do and I cannot wait to see how this whole thing turns out so far. It says each digital pop series will be announced on the official Funko social media channel so be sure to follow all of our latest updates. So Instagram and Twitter is where they post mostly and Facebook. Um, how do I track and manage my Funko digital pop collection? So we actually went over this. Your Funko digital pop collection can be tracked using the Token Head app. This app is available for download on iOS apps store or Google Play for Android. Make sure to download the token head app, guys. Uh, I'm going to right after this video. What are the purchase options available for Funko Digital Pop? In the drop of our first series of Funko Digital Pop on August 3rd, 2021, we are offering two different purchase options. And this is where we go into the actual packs. It says standard $9.99 USD for five digital pop collectibles and premium $29.99 USD for 17 digital pop collectibles. So you actually, uh, that's a bargain price. Essentially you get two extra cards uh, for spending 20 more dollars versus if you did buy the standard pack in, you know, threes, essentially you'd be paying $30 for five versus $30 for 17. That's pretty cool. I might just buy a premium one out the door. I can see this getting expensive personally for a virtual collectibles, but if you do get the rare card, then obviously that thing's going to be worth significantly more. So we'll get into all that later on. Nonetheless, um, it says each series of digital pop will have uh, select items within the series that will be redeemable for a physical pop. So that means you'll probably have a common, rare, legendary, epic, and situations kind of like that. Kind of like in your MMORPG games. Um, think of your gear tiers and what they're worth and things like that. 
So essentially a common's probably not gonna be worth much, to be honest. Cards will have varying rarities ranging from common to grail, as I just said, it was in the next sentence, that's hilarious. Information on rarities will get within a given series will be available on the drop website for that series, www.digital.funko.com. So make sure to check out that website. That's where you get information on rarities, given series, and everything like that. Now guys, this is very important. How do I redeem my digital pop for a physical pop? So essentially, how do you trade your virtual pop for a physical Funko Pop, as you see here. It says, 120 days after each series of digital pop drops, each Wax account with a qualifying digital pop will receive a redemption coin deposited into their wallet. Psst. A redemption coin is a redeemable in NFT that represents a collection achievement. Okay. The redemption coin NFT will be deposited into the account of the current owner of the digital pop on the applicable, uh, applicable excuse me, date, not the original buyer. If you sell or trade a redeemable digital pop, the redemption coin NFT will be deposited into the wallet of whoever holds a digital pop on the 120th day. Okay. Um, that's okay. So if you trade it, so essentially if you trade it, whoever has it on the 120th day, or if you sell it, or if you buy it, whoever has it on that 120th day, that's who gets the actual coin to redeem it for the physical pop. And these things are designed like no other. So they're obviously already gonna be rare because they're not available just for general purchase. You have to gamble to be able to get them. Only one redemption coin will be issued per redeemable digital pop. So that's fun. Once a redemption coin is deposited into your account, you have 30 days to redeem your for your physical pop. Redeeming a redemption coin burns the coin and it will no longer be in your wallet. So it's essentially if you give me a dollar and then I go spend it, you're not going to see that dollar anymore. <laughs> you have to get a new dollar. Uh, redeemed physical pops will be shipped and delivered to for free to all U.S. customers. International shipping fees may apply to global orders um, where available. Some restrictions may apply. U.S. shipping is expected to be fulfilled within 30 days after the NFT series redemption deadline. Okay, that's cool. So they're offering free shipping for the actual physical pops. So this is obviously one of the more important pages Again, guys, just to kind of reiterate and go on here, you get up if you whoever holds that actual um, digital pop on the 120th day, that's who gets the coin to be able to redeem it for the actual physical Funko Pop, um, and that will be shipped to you free, which is awesome that they're offering free shipping. So essentially, guys, if you get that rare card in the actual packs that you open, just hold it. Now guys, getting into the rarities, it says, how rare are the physical pops? The physical pops will only be available through digital pop redemption. There will be a limited quantity tied to each series and each pop will be exclusively stickered. For you sticker guys, the exclusive stickers. <laughs> Just like Funko digital pop collectibles, the physical pops will not be released. So they will automatically be revault or vaulted, excuse me, just like the digital ones. That is awesome. Funko, you're doing good stuff. You're going back to limited drops and I absolutely love this. This is amazing. And then the last few bits, it says, will I be able to track the physical pop with the Funko app? Yes, every physical pop will be added to your Funko cat app catalog so you can easily add and track with the rest of your collection. Um, need more details about how to purchase and collect Funko digital pop collectibles? Check out the Wax Discord channel at that website so you can actually get that link from the actual Funko blog just type in Funko blog on Google or if I remember I will throw down the link for you guys anyways guys that's a lot of information to obviously like take in all at once this is a fun concept I don't know how it's gonna go given it's a public release every single time it's not an in-store release I really at first when I saw it I thought it was gonna be physical packs that you open like that, and then you scan the cards into your digital thing, and then you trade them for the actual physical pop. But it's actually different. Everything is digital until you get that physical pop in hand 120 days later. Now, the one downside to this, guys, is it's actually gambling, essentially. It's gambling, so it's easy to get addicted, kind of like most people are addicted to mystery boxes. It's very easy to waste a lot of money on this trying to get those rare pops. Now, guys, we do have images that are actually showing what the actual pop and cards look like, which is actually very fun. So the first one we do have is the legendary here and it says collect this legendary NFT and redeem for a free physical pop. So we have the Casey Jones there with an exclusive sticker. It does say pop uh, digital on the box and it has like a black and blue box which looks absolutely amazing. So these are essentially custom pops guys uh, that Funko is making and they are super super limited and really hard to get. The Casey Jones looks great. Even the physical or the the card looks amazing. Like, that's so cool. So essentially, it looks like a chrome pop almost. Give me Predator vibes for some reason. Anyways, it says Pop Vinyl uh, Figure Edition, NFT Edition, excuse me, 1,467 pieces. That's a really weird number. Anyways, 
there's only 1,467 pieces of that pot. That's actually really limited, especially for an event like this. Um, then we also do have Leonardo here, and it says, go for the grail. Collect this grail NFT and redeem for a freeze physical pot. First of all, regardless of what the status is um, for Legendary Grail, they're going to be really hard to get, okay? And they're going to be really expensive on the aftermarket trying to pick these up. They are really cool, though. Sucks for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fans that they decided to start that right off the bat. If they go anime, oh, it's over. It is over for anime fans if they go anime with this. This is a great opportunity for Funko to make a lot of money. Uh, this actual NFT edition is 999 pieces. So Legendary, I thought Legendary would be more than Grail, but that's weird. Anyways, so Grail is less. We do have a Freddy Funko, and this is bad for Freddy Funko fans. Collect one of each NFT in the set and redeem for a free physical pop. And this says Achieve Mastery. You have to collect one of each NFT in the set, one of each of the cards, essentially, to be able to get this Freddy Funko. And that is a Funko Pop hunt like no other <laughs> like no other is the freddy cool he is he's like golden oh it's golden skateboard freddy that's kind of cool actually uh then we also do have bebop and it says legendary as well also um limited to 1467 pieces he looks great he oh it's blacklight oh no how are you gonna be able to get blacklight oh blacklight pops are incomplete or the collections are incomplete then we also do have a patina shredder there limited to 1467 pieces be legendary so essentially guys these are the legendary and grail cards that are available in this set as well as the freddy that is available for this one now guys we do actually have a look at some more of them as well guys as a look at the percentages and how hard these are going to be actually to get so first up we do have april o'neill which looks great 49 percent chance of getting this common that's so ridiculously high. Oh my gosh. Uncommon, 27% chance. What is that? It looks flocked. I don't know. Uh, rare is a 14% chance of rock steady. Uh, we have Krang at epic, 8% chance. 8% isn't that bad. Um, then we also do have legendary, which is a 1.63% chance. That's so much money. And then a grail, which is actually 0.37% chance. And if you add the legendary and grail, you only have a 2% chance of getting a legendary or grail, essentially. That's freaking crazy. Again, if they do anime, it's all over for me. Because I'm going to need some of them, depending on who they do. I'm going to need them. They better not do my favorite characters. This is nuts, guys. They did. They went all out for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. All right, guys. So I am actually adding on to this video um, after it already was done. I'm adding this portion in because I did find additional information that was really important that I wanted to throw in and not just make a separate video about. So um, this was actually on the Wax Digital website, and I got this from their actual Discord. So it does actually have information as to how to buy these, what day, what time, and everything like that. So it says how to buy. It all starts on August 3rd, 2021, when Token Head, Funko, and Wax will bring this unique and playful pop culture digital pop collection to life. Packs go on sale at 2 p.m. EST and can be unboxed at 5 p.m. EST. So three hours later is when you can actually open them. So on that day, I am going to be trying to get one and I'm going to open it and basically show you guys how the whole thing works. So I'm going to spend the next five days figuring out the account, everything like that. And then I'll probably update you guys maybe before that on the account set, uh, settings and everything like that. So guys, it does say what's in each pack. So you have the packs there, which look great. They look like your traditional um, playing card, trading card uh, packs, which looks great. So it says Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series one blue and red and you have five digital cards and 17 digital cards. It says all packs contain a randomized selection of TMNT digital pop cold from 100 unique designs. The collection features six heroic uh, rarities, common, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary, and grail. Obviously epic to grail is what everybody's looking for. Those are going to be the more expensive ones, maybe rare as well. I think these packs look great. I love the design. I love the detail on them and they look absolutely amazing, guys. This part was actually pretty interesting and very important. It says there are only 20,000 standard packs and 10,000 premium packs available. So essentially 20,000 of the $10 ones and 10,000 of the $30 ones. Also, guys, they do have a join us for a stress test. So essentially what it is, is it says join Wax the day prior to the official launch on August 2nd at 2 p.m. EST and enjoy a free Freddy Funko X Max token head promo pack as a thank you for helping ensure a smooth release. So essentially, guys, you get a free promo pack, a Freddy Funko promo pack of uh, basically a stress test to say, hey, this is how this works, and hopefully we want everything to actually smoothly go on. And that promo pack actually looks pretty cool. So I'd recommend going after that. That gives you an idea of how this is going to work, how to break the packs, and everything like that. 
regardless of if you're a fan of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or not, or if you collect it, everybody's going to be going after this, guys. Everybody's going to be going after the exclusive drops on August 3rd. This is going to be absolutely crazy. Again, guys, $9.99 for um, five cards, and then it's also $29.99 for 17 cards, and these are really, really low pool rates. They really are. So all I can say is, is it's essentially gambling, okay? And it's essentially like a mystery box. Your odds aren't great, but if you're into that and you have the money to spend, I say go for it. If you don't, I'd say just get them occasionally when you can, or if you are able to, or save up, sell a pop right now. If you want to be a part of this whole thing, do that. I, for one, I'm going to try and I will do it in a video and we'll crack some packs open and things like that. I think it's cool. Like it's cool. It's like everybody doing funk or Pokemon channel cards and things like that. Now I get to crack digital cards on at home and <laughs> do Funko pop cards. I don't know. The whole concept is actually really fun. Um, I can see it getting very expensive though. So I, I would like you guys to comment down below. What do you think about this whole situation? The NFTs? I think it's a lot more easier than I originally thought it was going to be. And there's so much more into it than I originally thought. And I think it's so great. I love the fact that they're going to vault them right out the bat, right after they're done. They're not going to be re-released. And that holds the exclusivity, holds the value of them, regardless if I'm able to get them. I think it's cool for the people who do have them because then you have a limited piece that everybody wants. And that's what creates the value of it. I think it's fun. I'm excited for this whole situation. August 3rd is going to be a blast and I can't wait to see what Funko does with this. I can't wait to see how the drop goes. If it goes bad, you guys know I'll make a video on it talking about it. If it goes good, I'll make a video talking about it. Either way, I'm going to be all in on this actual NFT things, talking about it, giving you guys updates and things like that. So if you're new, subscribe and click that notification bell because this is going to be a crazy ride. Anyways, guys, I hope this explanation video did actually help you out. It was very, very convoluted. There's a lot of information to absorb and there's a lot going on with this. So again, just if you have any other questions, drop them down below and I'll do my best to answer. Um, but originally these are cheaper than I thought they were. I wanted to throw that in. I thought it was gonna be like $10 per one, but you get $10 and you get five chances to actually pull these. And I think that's awesome. Um, still though, after a while, it will add up and get expensive, so just be careful with that. Nonetheless, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below. I'd really appreciate it. Anyways, I want to say a huge shout-out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for supporting me and supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it and love you guys for it. So huge shout-out to you guys. Thank you so much. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is always down below. We even have a Patreon-only Discord going on if you guys want to check that out. I also want to tell you guys to make sure to check out the Facebook group. It's Buy, Sell, and Trade, and you can make a ton of friends, as well as be following my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, all at Skittle Rampage. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.